Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we've got a battery for you. Golden Mate LFP1210. We're gonna put the torture to it with the ICOM 705. How do you torture a battery with a 10 watt radio? With FT8, let's go do it. You're probably gonna need some way to connect this battery to your radio, and I use power poles on everything. These are T2 connectors and Anderson power poles on the far end. I've got a video up here on how to make Anderson power pole connections, and I will leave a link below to this cable pre-built if you don't want to go through all that hassle. Okay, today's setup is the ICOM 705 and the Golden Mate LFP 1210 10 amp hour battery, and we're monitoring it with one of those cheap power meters you can find on Amazon or eBay. We're at 3.4 volts out, and we've consumed 0.006 amp hours just getting everything set up. On the computer side, I'm running WSJTX version 261 on a Raspberry Pi 5 in the Argon Neo 5 case. Just for thoroughness sake, the only thing that's running on the battery is the radio. The Pi 5 is running on shore power, as is the screen and everything else. And the power out on the 705 is 100%, so 10 watts. And we are currently transmitting at a 1.5 to 1 SWR. It looks like it's pulling 2.41 amps on transmit. And my 10 watts is getting out pretty good. All right, we're one hour in and we've used almost one amp hour out of the battery. It just flipped by, there it is, 0 0.96 amp hours. And that's the Golden Mate LFP 1210 and the ICOM 705 running FT8. So what does that all mean? I know I don't normally do math on camera. However, I think I can handle this. We exercised the radio for an hour and during that hour we consumed 0.9 amp hours of battery life. Let's just call it 10. It's a 10 amp hour battery. We'll get about 10 hours worth of use out of this on FT8, which is, as you guys know, a full duty cycle setup. Full duty cycle, so you know, 50% transmitting, 50% listening, back and forth, back and forth. There's a little bit of inefficiency because of the protein interface dealing with the radio. But outside of that, it's about as hard as you can push a radio currently without just full key down into a dummy load, which Again, we both know is bad for the radio. Some of the other really neat things about this battery is the size and the weight. This battery is, oh, my finger weighs more, two pounds, 12 ounces, give or take, and the size is pretty good. Let's compare this 10 amp hour battery to our old faithful, the BioNO. This is a 12 amp hour battery, so not technically a fair comparison because this is two amp hours more. So we're at three pounds, nine and a half ounces. versus two pounds, 12 ounces. But where it really counts is in the size difference. This is the 10 amp hour battery, this is the 12 amp hour battery. Our friends over at Golden Mate have the ability to shrink batteries down pretty good. This battery is as tall as the BioNO is wide. Are you gonna FT8 for 10 hours straight? Are you gonna FT8 for one hour a day for 10 days straight? Are you gonna FT8 for one hour a day for 10 days straight without recharging the battery in between just because you're a smart person and that's what you do? I think, I think you can see where I'm going with this. This battery is gonna last you a pretty long time. It is pretty lightweight. It is pretty power dense for how lightweight and packaged it is. And it is also pretty cheap. This is one of the cheaper batteries out there that I have seen. It is currently, as of the time of recording this, $69.99 on Amazon with a 10% coupon. However, if you go to Golden Mate's website, it's even cheaper. This is kind of ridiculous. On Golden Mate's website, I'm looking at it right now, it is 32% off, $39.99. This is a score. This is pretty amazing. And for 10 hours worth of use at 10 watts, that's pretty good. We will do another similar size battery coming up in the future on the channel where we try a 100 amp hour, 100 amp hour, where we try a 100 watt radio on a similar sized battery and see how well it works. Be sure you are subscribed to check out that when it comes out. Wow, I was impressed at the $69.99 price, but I actually did it wrong. That was for the two pack. The single pack on Amazon is $34.98. It's actually a little bit cheaper on Amazon currently and there are there's still a 5% discount code. Make sure you click the coupon link at the bottom of the page here and get yourself another 5% off of that $34.98. Pretty slick. Check out the links in the description down below for where you can get this. If I've got a discount code, I will share it with you. There's a video right over here on some more battery stuff I think you will enjoy. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.